Welcome all heisters, my name is Xforts, and today's video we're going to be going over the best XP farming method in Payday 2. As of before, everyone knows Hoxton Breakout was the best way to get XP in this game, but finally we get a new heist and uh, we get a better way to farm XP, so let's get right into the numbers here. So after some in-depth research, I've uh, found out that the forest bomb heist is actually a better way to farm XP than Hoxton Breakout. And before you guys just click off this video and say, okay, I'm going to go play the forest. Watch, I'm going to break it down for you guys, I'm going to tell you guys what assets, how to do the heist the, at the, the most effective way possible to get done as fast as possible, because time is really important here. So getting on to the numbers, we have Hoxton Breakout. Day 1, this is uh, from my experience, my averages on playing it, and most other people's as well. Day 1 will take you between 8 to 10 minutes, so average that out into 9 minutes. Day 2 will take you 18 minutes to 20 minutes, average that out to 19 minutes. So the average for Ox Hoxton Breakout is going to be 28 minutes. I'm going to do nice, clean, even numbers here. I'm going to round the XP and everything like that, just so just we're working with nice, even numbers here. So average is going to be 28 or uh, 28 minutes to finish a Hoxton Breakout. And your cash, we don't really care about cash here, we're all about the XP. You get about uh, 12 million offshore, 3 million spending. Um, really good, really good there. And cash... Or, uh, not cash XP you get 1 million two hundred thousand so that's good 1 million two hundred thousand that's really good XP but the time is a lot that's a lot of time that's 28 minutes per heist and you get a thousand or 1 million two hundred thousand so we all know that we all know how Hawkston breakout goes moving on to the new heist the forest the bombs so let's get down and dirty this is only a day one heist so that's good uh, so you can do it really fast day one takes between 13 to 15 minutes if you're with a group that has done the heist before, it'll go even faster if you're with a party with your friends communicating. But 13 to 15 minutes playing with randoms that know the map is my average. So round that out to a nice 14. Or not round it, just get an average. And end cash, you get about 1 million spending, uh, 4 million offshore. Not not, not too bad, not too bad. But this, this, is, uh, this isn't about the cash, like I said. And end XP, rounded it to 75 or 750,000. 750,000. Okay. So you guys are probably saying 750,000. That's nowhere near uh, 1 million 200,000, but it's the time, guys, that we're focused in on. So let's times all these numbers by five. Okay. So Hoxton Breakout, you do it five times, it's going to take you 140 minutes, and you're going to get a nice even uh, for this breakdown we're going. We're going to get 6 million XP because uh, we're going off the 1 million 200,000. You're going to get 6 million XP if you do this five times. Okay. Nice even number. And, um, so that's 140 minutes. So now if we do the forest five times, uh, it's going to be 70 minutes. 70 minutes, five times. And the XP is going to be 3,750,000. So 3,750,000, that's good. And it's only taking 70 minutes. That's exactly half the time of five hawks and breakouts. So that's good. So now, as you guys can see where I'm going, if we double our time, so... Forest takes 70 minutes, let's double that, comes out to 140, that's just as much as 5 Hawks and Breakouts, and that gets us 7,500,000 XP. Oh, 1,500,000 1, more XP than if we would do 5 Hawks and Breakouts. And it's only a day one heist, and it's just, it's better. Okay, so I'll leave it at that, guys. Um, as you can see... The forest is, in fact, the better way to grind XP. So I'm going to dive into some gameplay here. Uh, not actually gameplay, just some asset talk. And I'll talk to you guys how to do the uh, heist as effective as possible. So, uh, transition. Okay, guys, so we're here in pre-play, and I forgot to mention, all of these heists are going to be done on overkill. Overkill is the best way to grind the XP IMO. Uh, so, yeah, getting on to pre-planning here. This is what the map looks like. And this is, I actually really enjoy this one. It, it can be one of the most frustrating heists but it can also be one of the funnest sites if you're playing with friends. So that's just something to watch out with. Definitely recommend playing with friends on this. So escape plan. I'm going to talk a little bit about this. If you're playing with a group of friends that you're all communicating with, I recommend the boat or plane escape. Okay, boat or plane escape. Because the helicopter escape, when I'm playing with randoms, I go helicopter escape. Because it's really hard to get from... If you guys focus on my mouse here, it's really hard to get from wherever the train is. It's usually uh, where the vault is. Sometimes it's down here. Sometimes it's up here. It can be anywhere. But it really is frustrating working with four, four people when you're not communicating with them to get all the way, all the way to here without going down. So I find myself when I'm playing with randoms, 
the boat escape really is not the best route because you're going to end up filling the heist probably 40% of the time because people are going to be going down trying to, you know, move all four of the bags down all the way to here. So when you're playing with friends, I recommend boat escape because you guys can all com communicate, you guys can all stay together and work as a team to get down here and it will be faster. But for randoms, as that gets you that um, 14 minutes to uh, complete this, I'd go hel helicopter escape, but you're playing with friends in the boat escape, you can get it down to around 12 minutes, which is pretty nice. So helicopter escape if you're playing with uh, randoms, boat escape if you're playing with friends. And that actually takes um, eight assets, which is insane. And the other assets I like to pick up is just the crowbar and the ladder right off the start, uh, just so you can um, get in here and find the C4 as fast as possible. And tips and tricks, <laughs> I guess, for this heist. As soon as you spawn in, don't worry about anything else. Don't set up your drills yet. Don't do anything. Just find the vault heist, or not the heist, find the vault wagon. So search them until you find the vault wagon. Once you find it, ignite that thermal paste. And while the thermal paste is burning through the wagon, that's when you can go ahead and look for your C4. I recommend do not go for loot bags if you're just grinding XP. Um, cause when there's four of you in there, there's four parts of the bomb. So each of you can take a part so you don't have to worry about the loot and the helicopter lands right about, yeah, right there, which is really nice right in the middle of the map, right uh, next to pretty much all of the uh, carts. So helicopter escape really good. And also recommended finding the bomb wagon where the bomb is located as soon as possible. And then, uh, set up all your things and don't go for the loot and just find the c4 and then once you find the c4 hold up at the wagon say the wagon's up here you're going to want to put down med bags ammo bags right in a nice convenient spot with some cover and just hold off that area hold off that area the most frustrating thing about this heist is when you're working with people and people are just running all over the place and because if you're up here if you guys are following my mouse cursor if you're up here and someone's down here say getting a crowbar or something like that and say someone will go get him if you don't have inspire you're probably gonna end up going down this is a hard heist i'm not gonna lie this is actually a pretty difficult heist even for experienced players so i recommend staying together as pretty much all heists uh that's a good tip to stay together but something else you can do if you're gonna go plane escape or boat escape you're gonna want to pick up the um where is it the backup and you want to get the ace pilot um if you're using the pump it's gonna use the pump is right around here it's gonna uh fill up your pump twice as fast uh, the water moving from the pump to the wagon. It's gonna go twice as fast and also if the cart is in an area that is not eligible for the um, Generator and the hose your Helicopter pilot is gonna show up twice as fast and it's gonna fill twice as fast So he doesn't have to make two trips. It's just one nice trip So that's just how to do it as fast as possible in my opinion So that's pretty much it for you guys uh, as you guys can see there was some gameplay of us doing this heist um, when we were talking about the numbers and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Go ahead and try it out. Leave me, let me know in the comments section down below how it's been working for you guys. Um, so yeah, me and my friends have been doing this. Uh, I got pretty far on my infamy level. Let me back out here. I am, I just got level 100. I'm going to go infamous later today. I just want to make this video for you guys quick. Maybe do another build before I go infamous as well. Um, I have some cool builds in mind. And, uh, so yeah. I'm going to go infamous and I'm going to grind this mission out and it's going to go good. So be sure to subscribe for more payday videos. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I feel really good bringing this information out to you guys. So hopefully you guys can enjoy this. I'm just going to stop rambling now and thank you for watching. Happy heisting.